My name is Ramon Galindo, and I'm a World War II veteran. I had a baby face at that time. I wanted to be a pilot. After they interviewed me, I said, well, I'm sorry we can take your brother, but we can't take you. I said, why? They said, no, uh, you're a Mexican citizen, so we can't take you. And I said, well, you got my big brother. He said, yeah, but he's not in the Air Corps. And the reason you can't get into the Air Corps is because we have a, a secret weapon. So instead of putting me in the, in the, in the Air Corps, they put me in the, to shoot the airplanes down. And that's what this is all about. Okay, we call this monkey suits. Every, every driver had a suit like this. You see, we had earphones, and uh, because if you're a driver, you, you was also a radio operator. The background that you see there, those two windows, that was our barrack. We all had to be buddy-buddy. You become friends right away. You have to. It's best that you do. You learn to respect the fellow next to you. Anything happens to him, you give him first aid or vice versa. So you get to be more like brothers, a family. Right here, if you notice, we used to see in the magazines that uh, the airplanes had different pictures of different women. So uh, I decided to go ahead and do what they were doing in the Air Corps. So I, I, I painted that, and everybody liked that painting. And one of the soldiers, his girlfriend, was her name was Lena. He said, I'm going to name it Lena. I said, well, go ahead and put the name on it. <laughs> well, okay, this canteen had, had a history after the war. You know, the canteen made out of aluminum. So I took a, a little knife and I uh, put in the names of the camps that we were going to. Camp Wallace, Camp Edwards, and, and when I went to overseas and what countries I went through. It had all that engraved on it and the year. And when I got out of the service, they said, well, you can't keep it. It belongs to the United States government. And I hate to give it up, but it, they claim it was there, so I let it go. This was taken in Glasgow, Scotland. I was invited by a Scottish. He was wearing his skirt. But this one, he told me, he said, let's go over here. We'll get one and put it on you. I wore that for a day. But this uniform is heavy. It is actually heavy. Now, this is on May, the early part of the May, 1945. We're going from Germany into uh, Pilsen, Czechoslovakia. But before we we'll turn around and come back, Germans were still fighting. They were shooting at us, and that little hole is shrapnel. My finger, I'm pointing at, at the glass there. It hit the water tank, hit the radiator, and uh, at that time, we didn't hear more firing. So that everybody run and got into it and took off. Oh, okay, so this is up in the Alps. I wanted to go uh, see a friend of mine and I stopped a civilian. So I gave him a pack of cigarettes for him to loan me his motorcycle. That's what it cost me. He was glad to get cigarettes. Listen, you could buy just about anything with cigarettes. And uh, I got lost coming back. I had to walk. I spent a full night out there walking in Pilsen. We were all coming back home from Germany. And we stopped at uh, Camp uh, La Harve, I believe it was. We took the picture, they at the camp. We was glad we got out of the war alive and not uh, wounded. And we were happy that we were coming back home. We were just hoping that we'd get on the boat and get on back to the United States. And that's, that's a beautiful feeling there.